Hello. <laughs> Welcome to yoga. I'm going to do a nice flow today. Begin by standing in your nice Tadasana. Standing tall. Breathe in the nice air. Look at your feet. Spread your toes and feel your arches lifting and then lengthen all the way up through the crown of your head. Begin nice long ujjayi breaths in through your nose and out. Breathe deeply in and out. And as you're settling, set an intention in your mind for your practice today. And then bring your hands to heart center and prepare for your yoga practice. And stand back in the mountain and then just take a wide step out on your mat. Feet are nice and wide and turn your toes out and just bring your hands to your hips. Bend your knees so your knees stack over your ankles. Reach all the way out shoulder height and just hold your nice goddess pose here. <clears throat> We're going to bend your elbows. Inhale straight and your legs reach up tall. And then exhale, sink down. Imagine that you're sliding your back up the wall. Exhale fully. Good. Sunflower reaching to the sky. Exhale, bending your elbows right by your legs. Last time, reach all the way up. Big breath in and exhale down. Good. This time you're going to reach up to the sky. And on your exhale, you're going to turn to the side. So turn your right toes a little to the front. And then slowly sweep your arms down and around. Inhale to the sky, exhale down and circle. So just let your body be loose as you sweep around. Feel like you're firm in your feet but loose in your upper body. Last time, now reach to the sky. And let's go down to the right, down and around. Inhale, reach. Exhale down. Inhale, lengthen and down good loosen up your spine last time now reach all the way up inhale and now on your exhale take your hands behind your back lift your heart to the sky and then just let yourself roll down let your head be heavy and stretch your arms to the sky feel that good stretch in your upper back and neck and shoulders and then slowly release your hands to your back and then down to the mat. Now keeping your feet firm still, maybe a slight bend in your knees, just rock a little side to side. Get some looseness happening in your spine. That should feel good. And then just hang heavy. Good. From here, loosen up your head, look side to side, and now lunge into your left leg and then into your right. Feel that good inner thigh stretch, side to side. Nice flow in your body. Good, now turn yourself into a lunge over to the left. And we're gonna just curl in through your spine, lifting your hips and then come back to center. And exhale, draw in and up. And keep pulling in and up and then come back center to your neutral spine exhaling up curl in lots of energy lift that foot and step back down we're facing dog good let your head be loose spine is long curl in and up a little bit and get length through your upper back and neck and shoulders and bend one knee and the other side to side good hamstring stretch and then we're going to go to the other side so step your other foot forward and Exhale, curl your spine, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up and come back to neutral spine. So every time you exhale, curl into that mula bandha, it's your pelvic floor, and then lengthen out, then lift your leg up and step back, downward facing dog again. Every time you come to downward dog, you can work out your legs, settle into this resting pose. Now wave through your spine and your heart, lift forward, and then just lower your knees down. So a nice long line from your knees to your shoulders. And then slowly bend your elbows, keep your heart forward, 
and then inhale, press through your hands, lift up a little into Cobra. Now draw your navel in, lift your chest, and then float your forehead down to the ground. And just get this wave action, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, lengthen, get a little higher. And on your exhale, draw your navel in, stay on your knees and send your hips back, get lots of length, then straighten your legs into downward facing dog. Walk out your heels and feel that nice energy down your legs. Then curl again into high plank. And on your exhale, bend your elbows just three inches, lower your hips and inhale to up dog, stacking your shoulders, drawing the navel in, wave back to downward facing dog. So you can choose each time to do it on your knees or not. Inhale your right leg to the sky and exhale, curl through, step to your right thumb. Nice long spine, look forward, inhale. And on your exhale, left foot forward and fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, lift to flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold. Good, bend your knees and curl your way all the way up into Ukatasana. A little scoop of the tailbone, exhale, hands to your heart. And then just twist to the side and center, reach up, inhale and exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, reach long and exhale, forward fold. Good, on your inhale, wave all the way up to standing, reach your hands to the sky, and then exhale, forward fold again. Now you can step or jump back into plank and just go right into your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog, and exhale, wave back to downward facing dog. Settle. And then inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, curl in and step to your left thumb. Heart lifts, engage your core and step your right foot forward and fold. Lift into flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bending your knees, curl your spine, reach long to Ukatasana, fierce pose. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist the other way. Good, keep your hips square, inhale, reach up and exhale, fold. Reach up all the way, lengthen to the sky and exhale, hands to heart center and pause. Reach up along again, exhale, forward fold. Keep flowing, inhale to flat back. And now on your exhale, bending your knees, step or jump back into plank, that was kind of heavy plank. Exhale, chaturanga, and draw your chest, lifting up, dog, downward facing dog. Wave once again to high plank. Now we're going to twist to the side. You can put your knee down and then open your chest up to the sky. And then come back and bring your other knee down. Open up, reach up to the sky. And exhale down. So we're going to do it two more times. This time you can put your knee down or you can just go to your feet and stretch into your side plank. Really open up and come back center. So just use an inhale breath to twist to the side. Inhale all the way up reaching and then exhale back into plank and move through your chaturanga again. Inhale lift up dog. Exhale flow back to downward dog. So we're keeping moving one breath, one movement. Now bend your knees, crouch your hips back, look forward, inhale and exhale, curl to your navel. Inhale, bend back, exhale, lift shoulders over wrists. If you like, you can add a little jump, hugging your inner thighs, lifting your heels to your bottom, our little Shakti jumps, and then come forward and fold. I'm still working on that one. Inhale to flat back, exhale and fold. Good, and then reach all the way to the sky and press your palms, hands to heart center. Good, all right, so from here, face the front and step out to the side, big wide step again. And we're gonna reach your hands to the sky. Exhale and bend your elbows. So turning your toes out, reach up long, exhale, connect to Mula Bandha right here. Inhale up, pelvic floor muscles hugging in. Reach your hands behind your back and then lift your heart to the sky and fold forward. A good stretch in your shoulders and then come on back up. Good. Bend your knees and toes pointing forward. Reach out forward and exhale. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale. Reach long. 
exhale hands to waist now inhale stand reach long and exhale just throw it back but wave through your body to inhale lengthen and exhale release any tension you can open your mouth and throw those hands back and then just forward fold lunging side to side feel a good inner thigh stretch Good. From here, we're going to do a balance. So get ready for peacock. Reach your left arm forward and wrap it around your leg. Reach your right arm behind your back. Begin to lift that left foot up and balance slowly standing. Lift your heart. Open your hip. If this is too much, you can just hold with that left hand under your knee without interlacing your hands behind. You can try to extend that foot up and then slowly come back down placing your foot down good so let's do the other side reach your right arm forward and then through your leg take your left arm up to the sky and around holding your wrist and slowly pressing through your standing leg this side i'm a little more wobbly which is okay it shows you that you know you're going to get off balance sometimes that's okay so just stand tall find a place to gaze uh-oh. <laughs> Good. Maybe extending that foot and uh, hold on to it. And then slowly <laughs> come down. Sometimes you lose it <laughs> and come all the way down. Let me try that again. All right. Can I come down slowly? Yeah. All right. So release down, wiggle around a little bit and take your legs wide again. We're just going to do another little lunge over to the right. Lift your spine and put your back heel down. Now reach your arm forward and come all the way up into warrior two. Scooping the tailbone, reach back into reverse warrior. And whoa, uh-oh, there's a blooper. Take two. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. So reach <laughs> the arm forward and then sweep it all the way up to warrior two and then reach back to reverse warrior and hold and breathe gazing up come back and circle the arms around step back down or facing dog now it's good to have some of those foibles happen wave forward to high plank exhale chaturanga inhale cobra or up dog and back to downward facing dog good breathe Settle. Now lift your right leg to the sky and curl forward. Step to your thumb and walk your way around to the other side. So putting your back heel down, reach your right arm forward and then sweep it all the way up and open out warrior two. Good. And then shift your right hand to the sky and reach back reverse warrior. Breath in. And out. Good. Inhale and sweep your arms around, hands down. Good. Lift that foot and hover and step back to our facing dog. Hold here. And then wave forward one more time into chaturanga, up dog, and drawing in downward facing dog. Settle. Walk your feet out a little bit. Good. Let's try bending those knees again and then jump into your Shakti kicks. Lift your heels, stack your hips over your shoulders, and then come to the top of your mat. Woo! And then lift up to flat back and fold. Reach all the way to the sky. Nice stretch and bring your hands back to heart center. That's a good flow. All right, so let's face the front again, standing in